I was trying to call. I wanted to know, since there is nothing to get and nowhere to arrive, but I'm happy to read this if you written it all out. And there is only aliveness this moment, what, what, the, what the responsibility is. For example, if my daughter has severe OCD and anxiety, and I've realized that my trying so hard to help her, give her what she needs, and I recognize that there is only this, and there becomes an acceptance for exactly who she is and where she is, as really no one actually, actually, then what becomes my responsibility, only what the body does? I see her as no thing appearing as everything somehow, sometimes now, but it, it is still tricky. Yeah, and your body will find its responsibility of what it needs to do. So it's like your responsibility has been predominantly head-based, so predominantly in the third eye, and then as you begin to collapse into it, like your body will respond in moment to moment of how you need to respond to her. And then sometimes there'll be thinking. Thinking is part of the chakra system and it's important. But it's mostly that your presence is the greatest gift that can be ever given to anyone. But then at the same time, there is no one that you're looking at. Like your daughter is this freedom. But on the bodily level, on the human level, your body wants to help her. But yeah, on this level, on this moment, there is nobody to help. And that is deeply relaxing, knowing that, that this is everything, this is all there is. And then if she comes and says to you, you know, I'm having this problem, can you help me? Then there's a movement to help her in that moment. And you can't fix her. It's not so much who is she to fix, because on the ultimate level, who is she to fix? But on the human level, it's like now, if, if the table was broken, you'd attempt to fix it. If the chair was broken you'd attempt to fix it if your leg was broken you'd attempt to fix it so it's not so important like who she is to fix that like, there's a problem that's happening in that instrument just like if there was a problem happening in any other but there's too much identification from you happening so when you say that it relaxes it and you begin to like dissolve into what's happening So just look at that feeling that you feel towards her. So when it's not there, then you don't need to evoke it. But if you feel that responsibility, just look at that, see it. It's most probably in the heart or the solar plexus area. And just see that they're simply feelings appearing and they're not actually talking about the situation. They're not actually helping your daughter. They're stress that's put onto you. And see that it's not true. And the only thing that's important is what's arising now, right now. And in this, this is no thing appearing as everything. And it appears like she suffers, it appears like she has problems, and that's exactly what's got to happen in that instrument. And at times it appears like you help, but then also, what can you do? Her destiny is her destiny. You can offer up these tools, and she'll take them when she's ready to take them. Like I work with people all around the world and there's some people that are so ready to change and to shift and to like see beyond themselves and then some people it's like um a battle with them like sometimes in the session i it's not that i feel like i'm battling it does in some ways it feels like i'm battling them this is very rare but it's like their whole story just doesn't want to change so anytime you begin to point that out it's like just seeing that <laughs> 